to the broadcast. We're here in the Sub-Zero Wolf Bentwood Kitchen with, of course, our favorite, Chef Garth. What are you making today? Well, thanks, Amy. Actually, I'm making something that's not really up my alley. Not a big baker. I know you come from more of the oh, home cooking and baking side. Yeah. This is my really easy way to do kind of a dressed up chocolate dipped cookie. Mm. So it's a toffee studded snickerdoodle. Got some other ingredients in it, but it, it really, it's a way to make some uh, I'm easy non-baking. Okay, I love that. That's perfect dessert. for me. But I get tickled because your titles are so long. Just, just the say, word snickerdoodle say, alone is going to be it's long. A it's a cookie. cookie. It's a good cookie. It's a chocolate dip cookie. I, they, that's perfect. When I chocolate describe dip it, you cookie. know what it is. Put some butter it. in there. That okay. butter's been softened. All right, a little put me bit to of work. Sugar. How much butter are you going to use? All of it. So that's going to be about a Stick. quarter of a cup. Okay. And then that sugar. Alrighty, we'll that's not much sugar. That. That's just a little bit. We're gonna add some more cinnamon sugar at the end. Oh. And this is a this is a smaller batch of it. Okay. Okay, now Perfect. I'm gonna add an egg. I always crack the egg. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Actually, it's funny, I was just gonna say I always crack an egg directly on the countertop so that it doesn't oh, crack I the love shell. It. I love it when nope. a real chef makes a mistake like that. I do that. all I've, the time, especially when it comes to baking. Makes me feel like a real normal cook. Well, Alrighty. I'll preface it, yeah, by saying that I'm not not the best baker, and that proved it. Okay, so we're gonna put in some flour. At this point, you don't want to over whisk, so go ahead and work that in. With this? Just gently, or, yeah, you don't want to overdo it. How about this? You can fold it if you want, can sure. Can use that? Absolutely. I like this idea better. It's cream of tartar. Because I don't want to hurt that flour. I want to be gentle with soda. it. Be gentle with it. Because you know, there is an art to baking, and there is a secret ingredient. You what probably, is this you probably don't know. Tell me. The secret so, ingredient is TLC. Well, okay, I was gonna guess love, so I was yeah. right, right up it's that alley. It's a little alley. TLC, that's what my grandma said. And it is, because you don't want to overwork it, because what ends right. up happening, you get you know dough that becomes chewy or tough. And then you threw in some almonds here. Uh, and toffee pieces, actually, so ah, get a little bit of both. That's that, what's going to make it the snickerdoodle. It is, and it's going to kind of melt in, but I like little chunks of that toffee. Okay, I didn't overdo it there. I was a little, little easy on it. That, that was our base. And right. so we just baked these for about 12 minutes at 325. Ooh, wolf oven. pretty. Oh, I it, need to move this because you got something going on over here. We do. We're melting some chocolate. So using a double boiler, and you want to make sure you do the cookies ahead of time. They need to set up for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut off the end of these, so we're going to make them stand up. If you oh, wanna... can I eat the ends? I love that. Oh, yeah, we'll save the ends <laughs> for you for okay, sure. So let me take this chocolate out. Please. Is it going to... Oh, it is hot. I better use something. Here. Where are the pot holders around here? That's a nice steamer. It is, so Kept that's going to keep the chocolate warm. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And you'll just dip the bottom into the chocolate. Ah, okay, what kind of chocolate? You probably already this said that, and I wasn't listening. I didn't. You, okay. yeah, I wasn't, you weren't paying attention. It's 74% um, cocoa content, so it's bittersweet. You know, there's enough sweetness from the cookie that I'm really not trying to overdo it with the chocolate. It provides a lot of that richness. Here I'm just assuming more. this is what you want me to do. Yes. So Stand dress them up, up like plate. that? Uh-huh. That's so fun. You could get the kids involved in this. And Easy. Er earlier I did a raspberry puree and we just oh, strained out the solid. seeds. A raspberry puree. Uh -huh. and we're, we put that down. I did it in terms of the finished product because that chocolate's going to take a little while to, to set, set up. Mm -hmm. So you can do that ahead of time. This is easy. Okay, what'd you do in that raspberry sauce? Just raspberries, a little bit of lemon juice that mm -hmm. brings out some of the flavor. Mm -hmm. And then also, uh, actually I didn't need sugar on this one. Raspberries now are pretty much in season, so we're able to go without any I've extra been sugar. I buying them like crazy lately. Fresh mint out of the garden. Are you growing your own mint? I am. And it's like a weed, Basil, so you gotta have a lot of mojitos. Mint, thyme, rosemary. Yeah, that's all, what I got. And those are all easy to maintain. Oh yeah. Mint can go crazy though. Oh, that's hot. Well, that, so that tray just came out of the oven. I'm glad to see I wasn't the only one making Thanks little mistakes this, this morning. <laughs> Look how pretty with the flowers. Finished products. So, touches right, it's all about the and presentation. The, and then there's mine. <laughs> I even had one fall. <laughs> and what would help with that, to be honest with you, would be to put it onto parchment paper. And if you want a little chef's secret, yes. this parchment paper, mm -hmm. did you notice it didn't curl up over the cookies? Yeah. So when you go to the grocery store and you buy parchment paper in a roll, it's yes. always going to curl over the cookies. Right. Go to a restaurant supply store. Mm. You can buy it. Now, you'll have to buy enough for you and your block. Uh, it's not terribly <laughs> expensive, though, but it's, it's like already the size of your sheet. Piles of it. This is a great idea. Thank you for saying that. Or you can just cut it and turn it upside down against the roll. Yeah, it's still tough. Because then you're trying to press it down and throw yeah. a cookie on. Yeah, we'll so put I a bunch of cookies easier. on there and it'll hold it all down. That's the other Thank approach. you. What a great recipe. I can't wait to try one of these. And I'll Dig just in. do that right now while everybody's holding on. Oh. So a little chocolate, that bittersweet sweetness from the raspberry. Oh, my gosh. 
that sauce yeah. makes it awesome. Yeah, a little fruity. Great, too. great, easy recipe. Thank you so much. Check it out on the website. Yeah, it's on the website, broadcasttv.com. You can download it from there. I'm so rude talking with my mouth full. We'll be back with more broadcasts right after this.